Hi, thanks for tuning in to My True Balance Yoga. Today's class will be working on a sequence that I use with a lot of athletes and one that I've done on my Yoga for Athletes clinic tour. Today I'm already joining, so thanks a lot. And make sure at home when you're practicing that you're doing things that can help yourself out. So if you need to modify, do it. If you need to use props such as blocks, straps, even a blanket underneath the knee, it's totally cool. Alright? So we'll actually get started down on hands and knees in a table position. So we get a little cat and cow here, warm the neck, shoulder, and spine. So we inhale, your bone lifts, belly drops, your gut in front of you. Good. And exhale. Really feel those intercostal muscles lifting. That's good. And then inhale again, count through 10. Back to cow. And then exhaling back to cat. Good. A couple more rounds here. Making sure when you're practicing this at home that you're getting enough lift there in those intercostals so they can really stretch out, open up those lungs, especially with the workout that we're doing here today. We need a lot of oxygen. One more time. Yeah. We'll come back to a table position. Nice. We'll do a nice little opening here for the hips and for the shoulders. So let's go ahead and step forward with our left foot. Keep that right knee on the ground. If you need a blanket underneath the knee, go ahead and place that there. Roll up through your spine. Roll the shoulder blades down. Bring the hands onto your left thigh. Be nice and tall here. Feel the core zipping up. Then you're going to take the arms out to a T position. Arms behind the back. Interlace the fingers. Press knuckles down. Feel those pectoral muscles opening up. And allowing oxygen to flow in. Making sure that that Left knee doesn't go past the ankle here. Anytime you have that knee bent, always make sure it's above the ankle or behind. Good. Let's release those hands. Bring hands to heart center. And we'll twist to the left. Now, if you're modifying, you'll just stay tall. Here, it's nice. Doing a nice twist here with that right elbow there on the left thigh. Soft gaze anywhere there to the left. We can close the eyes for a little extra challenge. Come on back to center. Nice work. Release the hands down into the ground. Let's tuck under those right toes and we'll come back to downward facing dog. You can pedal the feet a little bit here if you want to. It's nice for the hips to loosen up. Hamstrings. Good. And with the next inhalation, we'll step forward with the right foot. We chain sizes. We'll come down on that left foot. We'll flatten those toes. Again, we'll lengthen up through the spine. Nice and tall. Good. Hands come onto the right thigh just for a moment. You would do a little assessment here. How does it feel in that right hamstring here? How does it feel in the left groin and hip? Just be aware. Nice. We'll lengthen arms out to a T position. Arms behind the back. Interlace fingers. Knuckles down here. Really open that heart up. Another way to help you with that balance here is to make sure that all the toes on the left foot are pressing into the earth. Release those hands, bring hands to the heart center, namaste, and then exhale, we'll twist to the right. Then staying tall and taking that left elbow on to the thigh. Well done. This is really nice too, we see she's nice and open, she's not collapsing. So again, if you're practicing at home, if you feel that spine's collapsing, lift that heart up, be tall, be strong. Right, come back to center, let's release the hands down on the ground, tuck under, those left toes, come up to runner stretch. And this time we'll step forward with that left foot. Bend those knees, especially if that lower back is sent to the hamstrings tight, and then inhale from all the way up to standing. Bring hands to heart center. Close the eyes, pause for a moment. Let's make our attention to be strong here today. To be focused, to actually be calm during. Begin our flow. Inhale, arms will come up overhead. You'll squeeze your quadriceps together. You'll stay here if this is it for you, especially the lower back is sensitive. Otherwise, go into a back bend. You inhale, you'll come back up. And then exhale, full forward. Great. Let's step back with the right foot. Run our stretch here. 
will slowly roll up through our spine into a warrior one. But before we bring those arms up, relax the shoulders, make sure you're nice and stable, there are the legs, and then when you're ready, bring the arms up overhead. And if you're practicing at home, if you need to, you can always adjust the back foot by bringing the foot at an angle that may feel better for you and help with stability. Awesome. Last breath here. And as we exhale, release back to runner stretch. Now let's step back to plank. From plank, either you'll drop the knees and come down through chaturanga, either you'll press that pubic bone down and inhale to cobra or up dog. Then exhale, transition your way back to down dog. And if needed, you're more than welcome to go ahead and pedal the feet. It feels good. If you're feeling pretty lengthened out already, just press those heels towards the earth. Last breath here. And then when we inhale, we'll step forward with the right foot. So work into warrior one on this side. Take your time as you roll up again. Let those arms relax. Beautiful. When you're ready, stable, lift the arms up overhead. Nice flow there right there by Marie too. Lifting the arms straight. That's if those shoulders are sensitive. Sometimes when we bring those arms out from the sides, we can really pinch muscles in the shoulders, so that's always a great modification. Last breath here, and then release back to runner stretch. Good, and we'll step forward with that left foot. Good, and then inhale all the way up to standing. If you did a back bend, complete your cycle. Inhale up, and then exhale, hands to heart center. Another round here, inhale, arms back up. If you're doing a back bend, squeeze those quads and scrape fingers across the ceiling. Beautiful, come back up. Then exhale, let's fold forward. Inhale, let's step back to the left foot. Runner stretch here, and again, we'll roll up through our spine. And this time, bring hands right to heart center. We'll get right into our nice little twisted warrior one. So when you're twisting, if you need to modify, stay tall, look at the earth. If you're going to go deeper, you'll end up taking that left elbow onto that right thigh. Inhale, then exhale, we'll twist to the right. Feel the core zipping up, staying strong. Okay, keep the heart nice and open here. Great, come back to center. Release the hands back to runner stretch, and let's step back to plank. Then either you'll drop knees or come back to chaturanga. Inhale either cobra or up dog, and exhale to down dog. When you're working in down dog, make sure that you're pressing the pads of the fingers down into the earth. Staying super strong there instead of pressing more into the wrist. That way, we're not getting any irritation in the wrist. Sometimes if that's real sensitive, put hands on blocks that can help elevate you away from the floor, bring the floor up closer to you, so it's a little bit easier, especially on the wrist. Last breath here. And then inhale, we'll go ahead and step forward with the left foot to run our stretch. Again, slowly roll up to the spine. Bring hands to heart center. As we exhale, we'll twist left here. If you're going deeper, bring that right elbow onto the thigh. If you're modifying, stay tall. Deep breaths here. Opening the heart. And then slowly come back to the center. Release right down to a runner stretch. And you'll step forward with that right foot. Good. Inhale. Come all the way up to standing. And if you did a back bend, complete your cycle, squeeze those quads together. Come all the way up and bring hands to Namaste. Pause for a moment. Just feel. This next round here, we're going to get into a little flying warrior three, so a little bit more challenging. Inhale, arms up. Do a back bend if it's comfortable. All the way back up, and then we'll fold forward. Now this time when we inhale, let's come up halfway. If you need to, bring the hands onto the shins. Fold back in, and then step back with the right foot. Runner stretch. And again, we'll slowly roll up to the spine here. Take a moment. Ease the shoulders. So, 
For extra challenge here, you're going to follow Marie, okay? And she's going to do a nice flowing warrior three sequence with the arms up and then flying the arms back behind her. Now, if you're modifying, follow along with me where I'll just bring the knee to the chest and bring the foot back to the earth. We'll do it five times here. And the last one, we're going to hold for numerous breaths and then work back into a warrior one. Here we go. Arms can come up here. Let's inhale. Let's bring our right knee to the chest. And then exhale. Let's fly that right leg back. We're going to get modifying. Leg will come down. Inhale. Knee back to the chest. And exhale. Fly back. Again. Inhale. To the chest. And exhale. We fly back. Two more times. Inhale. To the chest. Exhale. Fly back. This time we'll hold for just a couple breaths. Come back up. We'll fly back. Good, and then bring the right leg down. Come back to warrior one. Good job. And release, runner stretch. Step back to plank. You can either drop the knees or come down through chaturanga. Inhale, cobra up dog to down dog. Great sequence right there is that it helps with concentration, focus, and balance. All things, especially athletes need, but things that everyday people need. Well done. Preparing to come out. Next inhalation, let's step forward with that right foot. Runner stretch. Slowly roll up through the spine again. And this is where we'll get into that flying warrior three sequence here. Five times again. And if you're going to work harder, Marie, otherwise modify with me. Arms are up. Good. And then inhale, let's bring that left knee in. And exhale, fly it back. Now, fly it back. Again. Fly it back. Good. Two more times. One, we'll hold, fly it, and fly it back, hold it, stepping back, warrior one, great job, release to runner stretch, and let's step forward, our foot, let's come up halfway, fold back in, all the way up to standing. Again, if you need a back bend, complete your cycle. Inhale up, and exhale hands to the heart center. One more round here. Inhale, arms come up. Back bend, lengthen. Come all the way up. Let's fold forward. Come up halfway again. Fold back in. Step back with the left foot, runner stretch. Step back, right foot. Plank and then come down to the table position. So here we're going to work right into crow. Now, for some of us, this could be super difficult, and if it is difficult for you, don't even worry about lifting the feet off the ground. A couple ways that we can do this. One way, if you're tight in the hips, you'll open the legs a little bit wider. The arms will go on the inside of the legs. You'll hug those legs into those triceps or forearms. Try and come up onto those tippy toes as much as you can and really stabilize those hands into the earth. Think about earlier in our practice when we did a little cat stretch, those intercostal muscles lifting. That's what you'll do. Lift those intercostals, shift the weight a little bit forward, and you can lift one foot up, maybe both feet up, and heels towards the six bones. Now, Marie will make it a little bit more challenging here. She'll bring the legs in a little closer. She'll come up high on those tippy toes. And she'll bring the elbows up onto those triceps, nice and high, near the armpits. Heart will lift, and when she's ready, she'll lift those feet up. Come on down. Good work. We're going to do it one more time, and I'll join in on the fun for this one. 
So we're going to try and hold for numerous breaths here. And if you're practicing it at home, stay with it. If you fall out, every bird falls down before they can learn to fly. So just have fun with this one, okay? So prepare either modifying or going a little bit deeper here. Prepare yourself, squeeze in, feel that core lift, intercostal muscles lifting too. Lift one foot if that's it or both feet. Last breath, and slowly release. Do some knuckles. Bam. Come down to the table, take a break in child's pose. Good work if you did that at home. If you flew all the way, awesome. If not, it's okay. Work in progress here. Always improving, and never ever judging where we're at. It just takes time and effort. You're doing it. Next inhalation, let's come to up dog. And then exhale to down dog. We're going to come on out here. So when we inhale, let's step forward with the left foot. Runner stretch. Right foot forward. Standing forward fold. Come up halfway. Fold back in. Come all the way up standing. If you get the back bend, click your cycle. Inhale up. And exhale hands. Namaste. Pause for a moment. Close your eyes. In your strength, your confidence, your stability. Belief in what you're doing. And slowly work your way down onto the spine. A little spinal twist. So this is where, practicing at home, that you have to be aware of there's different ways to do a twist here. One way to do a twist is by keeping, when we're twisting to the right, keeping the right leg long and having the left knee into to the chest. So when you twist to the right, it makes it a little bit more comfortable in some of our spines. For some of us, it's really comfortable having both knees together, twisting to the right. And for some of us, it's good to have a leg crossed over and twist. So, whichever is best for you, make sure that you do it here at home. So let's go ahead and take the arms out to a T position. Let's see what's best for Marie. Legs crossed. So think about eagle legs. If you're crossing legs here nice and tight, We'll inhale, and as we exhale, we'll take the knees, boom, to the right. Well done. Now, in the twist, if you notice, the breath is staggered, and it's not flowing freely, then you're going too far. You'll have to come out of the twist some. Maybe you have the legs crossed. That could be compressing those lungs too much. Ribs pressing into the lungs. Inhale, open back up. Preparing to change sides here. So if you're crossing legs, you'll take the right leg over left leg. You have one leg long, this time left leg long, right knee to the chest. Exhale, we'll twist left. Arms flat down on the ground. For some of us, you may need to turn the palms face up to modify. That's okay. You want to try and hit those shoulder blades down into the earth. If you need to, and that right shoulder's coming up too high, you can slide a blanket underneath, and you can even bring the legs up just a little bit. Good. Next inhalation, come on back to center. We'll release the legs. Hug the knees in. Maybe a little sacrum massage from side to side. Good. And then everybody's favorite, relaxation. You lengthen the legs out on the ground. Allow the legs to separate, let the feet lay out to the side. Turn the palms face up. Shoulders relax. Touch your breath. Come shallow. That's all the work is done. Now try to stay here in relaxation for three, five, even ten minutes. The longer you can stay, the better. And when you're done, come out, feel your strength, 
to move about your day feeling confident in the work that you're doing, not just on the yoga mat, but what you're doing in life. Thanks for joining us. Namaste.